Okay. It is C now. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. Thanks. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs> All right, I hope my voice came in good and clear. Uh, we have some technical difficulty and uh, what we can do. Uh, refresh in case, you know, tell the people to refresh in case they don't because, you know, uh, Rumble is different from YouTube, the way it works. And uh, let us uh, study today together what, uh, what the Muslim claim. And I will open my Skype right away, actually, in case there is any Mohammedan he would like to join us. And I hope we will find someone he is like, you know, not, not like the guy, you know, yesterday, the one who scream and we want someone here, some education, not a bunch of kids. Uh, so if you know any Muslim, he think he is educated and uh, he think he can uh, give us something valuable. That will be great to have him with us. Uh, so the topic today about Muhammad uh, going to the heaven. Uh, it's something we heard from Muslims over the time, many, many times. And if we go on YouTube, we will find tons of videos uh, about this issue. If I search right now, you know, for, uh, uh, for this topic, let us see. <clears throat> Prophet Muhammad journey to heaven. You will see how shallow the Muslims when they speak about this topic, and how uh, how you know you, you not need to be genius to to notice that this is something very stupid. Uh, let us see this one here, Sheikh Asim. Just to give you an example about how the fiction of Islam work, and is Islamic belief is based in anything really uh, solid in their own religion, like this, even the Quran says Muhammad, he went to heaven, or this is fiction, or, you know. In fact, I challenged the Muslim to show me where Allah, he says, that Muhammad, he went to heaven. You will not find it. But let us hear it together, this guy who charged $100 an hour, for 30 minutes, sorry. The m magnificent... Oh. Night journey Magnificent. that took place, known as Al Mi'raj, where the Prophet was taken to the seventh heaven. Mm -hmm. Did this take place physically or spiritually? Mm -hmm. Did it take place with his body and soul, or okay. was it only with his soul? 
Akhi, the most authentic opinion is that this... Here, you notice, uh, listen to this. Did you just notice what he said? The most authentic? So this religion is based, the belief that Muhammad, he went physically to heaven is about most authentic? Ooh. <laughs> Here you notice right away how Islam collapsed. Islam just a bunch of stories, and even the Muslim, they cannot even confirm. What, what, what do you mean the most authentic? Either it is, or it is not. So, from the beginning, you notice that the Muslims are, you know, in order to avoid the embarrassment, they add things to the statement, and now it is the most authentic. But shouldn't this shouldn't be about a prophet he went up to heaven. Either it's authentic, or it is not authentic. All right? Exactly, it's an opinion. And you know what kind of what kind of a belief is based on opinion? That cannot be from God, right? So this religion, obviously, if we can call it a religion, and actually, I, I I want you please, you know, today, to take this video seriously and download it, even if you keep it in your computer, you will be you will be shocked. Uh, be, but before we continue, again, if there is any Muslim, he have a beard, he is a sheikh, he is knowledgeable, he would like to join us. You will see, he's welcome to call us. We will treat him, speak to him nicely. You will see in two seconds that Muslims, they have nothing to base any story they have in their book. They have no base. So if we go right now and we ask the Muslims, where in the Quran it says that Muhammad, he went to heaven? I will shave my 25 meter beard if you can show me where it says that. If you go in the Quran, we will go there. Let, let's, let us finish this video and we will go to the Quran so we can laugh together. A particular journey, the night journey, which Allah Azza wa mentioned in chapter 17, Surah Al Isra, Subhanallah, the Asra, the Abdi, Hilaylan, Minal Masjid al Harami, Ilal Masjid al Aqsa. All praise and glory be to Allah Azza wa who has taken his servant. From Mecca, the Masjid al Haram, to Al. Okay, hold, hold on. Did you notice what he just said? He took him from Mecca. Where in the where in the in the verse it says Mecca? It says Al Masjid al Haram. Soon we will find where is the Masjid al Haram. Just to show you how stupid those Muhammadan are. Where it says Muhammad, it says Abdahu. He's a slave, his servant. Okay, where it says Muhammad, nowhere. So all of this based on nothing. Nowhere it says Muhammad. Nowhere it says this is from Mecca. It is just their own fiction, and we will show you that. And that's why I consider this video as actually I made the exact same video many many years ago. Uh, but uh, I think at that time I had a, a copyright uh, over the video after less than an hour uh, from uh, making the video and. Uh, the Muslim, you know, right away they were able to delete it. And then they asked me to do it again, you know, but like with, without paying the videos of those Abdul. Uh, and I said, okay, in the future. So now it's time. This is the future. Let's do it again. So where it says in the Quran that this is Muhammad? <clears throat> Nowhere. So if we go right now in the Quran, this is the Quran. And we will go to this chapter, the Muslims they are talking about. <clears throat> by the way i just purchased a, a, a microphone just for my phone so you guys when i record something you don't complain because each time i record something some of you says your voice is not clear your voice is clear voice you know so i i just i just received it actually uh, five minutes ago you know i have the, the delivery uh, uh, actually before i prepare for going live uh, if you go here with me in chapter of, uh, uh, 17, uh, chapter 17, sorry, verse number one, it says, glorified be to Allah. By the way, everything you see between bracket is not there, just to let you know. Everything you see, no, no, not this microphone. I bought different microphone for the phone. 
the phone I'm using here in the in the table, this is big, a huge one. You know, you cannot use it really for a microphone. Uh, <clears throat> that one is different. Anyway, later you will try it. You will hear me uh, speaking about a topic, and it's going to be very uh, uh, like uh, upsetting topic for many people. Uh, and actually, always I, I would like to share with you how to analyze information. It doesn't matter what it is about. It's about uh, religion. It's about politics. It's about economy. It's about uh, even like you know speaking to a person. So we sh we should learn how to read things around us. Like you know, when you go outside, what do you do before you go? It's a winter time. It's cloudy. You you read the weather. You have to read the weather to make assumption of what uh, kind of a preparation you have to have before you get out. Otherwise, you might get wet, you might get uh, hammered by snow, you might get a dangerous road to drive on, or maybe even, even you might die. So we have to learn how to read. <clears throat> and the reading we are talking about is not just reading words. We have to read words and go in depth, try to understand the physiology of it, and the logic of it, the reasoning, and the result. And this is what we are doing today, and we will do with everything we do. Always try to do that. So here you see, it says a glorified, but this doesn't say to, you know, to who? It doesn't say Allah. Nowhere. You know? Nowhere it says above. Nowhere it says above all that evil. Nowhere. See how they add, this is why when you read uh, Quran in uh, in English or your own translation, uh, you, you will miss a lot because Muslims, they are the lying machine when it's come to their book. I mean, all of this is not exist in the verse. If I change the translator right now in front of your eyes, this is translation of uh, Hilali and Khan. So if I change the translator, let us say to Biktar, are we going to find the same? Look what happened. The, the verse shrink massively. To the point now I have to zoom on the verse. Do you see how much the verse shrink? Okay. Glorified be he who carried his servant. Any one of you see the word Muhammad there? Any one of you see the word Muhammad? Do we see the word Muhammad? No, we are right. Okay. And then, so he carried his servant by night and here we we need to, we need to take notes and i hope you guys you will do that with me uh, because th those notes are very important you know very very important uh, let me let me draw a line <clears throat> and i want you to do that with me too maybe you can take a screenshot after we take all the lines so uh, here they say carried which is not really true asra does not mean carried asra it's mean he moved and we will find that uh, in different verse in the quran in two seconds if we will look if we look for it so this is moving or let somebody go not carried this is a mistake in the translation here we have servant no muhammad here we now the time by night and then it says from the invaluable place of worship it doesn't say Mecca it doesn't say uh, the Kaaba it doesn't say and then to the far distance place of worship to the what in fact it says the farthest distance place not far of worship And what is around it, and this is very important, this, notice carefully with me, what is around this place is uh, have a blast. This is very important. Okay? And the rest is nothing, not important. But notice with me, and just to show you how stupid the ones who they try to say to us they are Muslims. Anyone notice something strange 
about verse number two? Do you notice something with me? Let us see. I know that it takes time for the voice to go and come back. Let us see who of you will, you know, will notice with me what I am talking about. What do you notice in verse number two? Moses. Okay, what Moses have to do with this? What are we talking about? Are we talking about Muhammad or Moses? In fact, this is about Moses. There's two things happen here. The Hebrew, the Jews, they run from the Pharaoh at night. So now let us see point number one. Let us let us let us uh, let us clear clean the screen again, you know, and try to uh, start from zero. At what time the Jews they left? At night left moved not carried from the invaluable place of worship and the, the neighborhood where we're off we have a blast Who of you can tell me where we can find the story of Moses in the Bible where it says that God, he forbid the Jews, even the priest, to get a close to the place where he would appear to Moses. Anyone can remind me? Let us see how many of you have a good memory in the Bible. Chapter 9, chapter... Anybody can give me? Hmm? Exodus chapter 9. In Exodus, sorry, chapter 19, sorry, not, not 9, 19. Uh, where God uh, He said to Moses, if you read it from verse number 23, 24, you will see that God, He warned us, you know, saying, set limit around the mount set a limit around the mount. Which mount we are talking about? This is the mount of Sinai, right? What limit? This is a limit where people cannot pass. A limit where people cannot pass. And that is, this place is a blast. This is where God, he came and spoke to Moses. And this is the forbidden land. This is the forbidden land. This is what it says in Arabic. Al-Masjid al-Haram. So there's two things happen. He let them go. He moved them. He commanded them to move. From that point, at night, from the invaluable place of worship, where Moses has bowed down to God, where there's a limit nobody can pass and everything around it is blessed because the Lord Almighty He was there and then you will see right away it says we gave Moses the scriptures it's talking about what we gave him the command because when God he spoke to Moses this is a, this is scriptures right are you with me Are you listening? We gave Moses the scriptures. The talk of God to Moses, even if it's one word, regardless of the tablet, even if it's, you know, God, he said, hello, this is scriptures, you know, this is scriptures because scripture is the holy word of God, either given to us by a prophet or God himself spoke, etc. So here you notice that the whole 
uh, uh, legend about Muhammad going to heaven collapse in two seconds. Now, a Muslim, he might say to Christian friends, Christian friends, you are stupid. What is the proof that this is what happened? Well, guess what? You see the chapter here? You see the chapter? What is the chapter name? Al-Isra. What does Isra mean? To move from place to place. Do you know that the original name of this was not like, wasn't like this? It was the chapter of Israel. <laughs> if we go and search right now, uh, if we go and search in Google, Prophet Google, peace be upon him. Uh, you will find from the Muslim website something is astonishing. Let me show you. All right. I'm not just looking for an official Muslim website. Let us see. See, I don't need to prepare. Like this, why it's taking some time to find you something. Uh, but let us do this. All right. Uh, you can search if you can find in English. You know, I, for me, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking for an Arabic. And uh, let us go here. This is a Muslim website from the government, uh, uh, from the country, terrorist country of Qatar. The biggest terrorist supporter country in the world. And here is the website. It's called islamweb.net. And here the question here, speaking about, I will, I will use Google Translation, okay? Uh, so the, the person uh, here asking, uh, speaking about, like he found a mushaf, and which means supposed the Quran. But it says there that this chapter, there's a chapter called chapter Bani Israel, the children of Israel instead of the chapter of Al-Isra. So the name, even the, they changed the name. Let me show you. Translate. Uh, English. All right. Read with me carefully the disaster. You see the Muslims, they say to you, they did not change the book, they did not change anything, but read with me carefully. So the guy is asking a question. These days I am in Geneva and I went to the mosque to pray and I discovered that there is some Quranic books in which Surat Bani Israel is written instead of Surat Al-Isra. Here the answer. The answer is, is written in many tafsir books that yes, the chapter name was used to be called Bani Israel. It is true. Do you see it? It was called Bani Israel. Bani means children's, children of Israel. 
Now we have more clear evidence of what the Quran speaking about. You see, I avoid speaking to Muslims about this because they are a bunch of idiots. They do not know. They don't have the level of education. Usually we don't have anyone. He knew what he's talking about. They are just a bunch of YouTubers, you know, potatoes. Uh, each one, like they make channels, they make money and, you know, donate for us and support us. And supposedly they knew. But now we know that this is the holy chapter is about what? About the children of Israel. So the one who left in the night journey, it was Moses and his people. And the place of worship which he moved from is where Moses, he spoke to God. And then he went to the farther land. Where is that? Muhammad here is an ignorant, by the way. Uh... Like the Muslim here, they say this is about Al-Aqsa. You see the word Aqsa? Aqsa, here it says Aqsa. Aqsa means the fatherland. But the Aqsa, the fatherland is not in Jerusalem. cannot be in Jerusalem. Cannot. The Aqsa here is the maximum he can go. How we can prove that? Do you remember in the Quran, in chapter 5, verse number 21, 22, 23, 24, it speak about uh, a limit for Moses to go. Moses and his people, they cannot exceed that limit. Why? Because the land became forbidden for them. So if we go... We will find this in chapter 5, verse number 21. Because the people of Israel, they, uh, they did not obey the command of God. The land was forbidden for them for 40 years. So there's a, there's a limit. There's a limit they cannot pass. So they went all the way to that limit. Now, where is the visit to the heaven? If you go here with me, the Muslim, they keep talking about Muhammad going up to heaven. Anyone see the word heaven in the verses? In chapter of 17, which is originally used to be called a chapter of Bani Israel, which means the chapter of the Jews. Anyone see any, anything about going to heaven? Any Muslim can see the world going to heaven. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? So where where you got this story from that uh, Muhammad he went to heaven? Where we can find this story? Any Muslim can help us? Not even one? Who is a Muhammadan here would like to join us? Let's see. My Skype is open in case uh, any Muslim would like to join us and he think he have knowledge and he can uh, defeat us with his knowledge. There is nowhere speaking about going to heaven anywhere. I don't see it. 
And this is about the children of Israel. That's why it says, Musa's children's children of Musa's. Everything is about Musa's and his the children of of of, of the Jews. And nowhere it says this is about Muhammad. So what Muhammad was doing, he was copying a story from the Jews and he's adding his own fictions to it. Now, the story of Muhammad supported of him going to heaven in the Hadith. But where this story coming from? The hadith is written hundreds of years after Muhammad. Any one of you heard before of something called the Vision of Peter book? The Abu, Abu, uh, Abu Gurifa? The Vision of Peter? Anyone heard of it before? Nobody? What about we go right now, all of you, and you search for the vision of Peter. It's a fake book, false book, but it was very much promoted uh, for almost 400 years in the Middle East. No, 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 what does this have to do with Catholic, Catholic book? You people are silly. Catholic book. <laughs> Some people, they have obsession with Catholic. You will say abogryphy abog and you say uh, Catholic. How that in the world work with you? Do you know what that word mean? Those are fake books, fiction stories, written about real people, have nothing to do with, with, with us as a, as a scriptures. And people, they use them, you know, those, uh, those books, because they have miraculous stories, amazing stuff, uh, 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 yeah, so maybe the English they call it they call it a different name. The Apol uh, Apocalypse of Peter. Okay, maybe this is the correct name for it. So if you if you uh, if you search for it, you will find that the story of Muhammad going to heaven is speaking about the same story of how Peter he went to heaven and he went to hell, not only to heaven. He visit hell and he visit heaven. In hell he sees something, in heaven he saw something else. And you will notice that the potato Muhammad, he is copying everything word by word. If we go to the hadith first, And then we can go to uh, Peter's story. And you will see how the thief Muhammad, he stole, he, the, he stole a story about Peter. And he make it about himself. Anyone here will come and he will say stupid things. I will, I will, I will send you free shipping and hand it into Allah. Anyone he say Catholic is not Christians. I will, I will, I will put my shoes on you. Anyone he will say Protestant are not Christians. You are, a, you are a pig. Anyone he say Orthodox not Christians. You are a satanic person. There's many evil, stupid people here. Catholic are not the Christians. Protestant are not the Christians. Orthodox is the Christian. So who is the Christian? You dummy, stop being stupid. Christians who ever believe that the Messiah, he died for us, saying, Son of God, believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and all of those churches, they believe in that. Stop being a donkey. Stop being a person who drop your diarrhea, like, you know, shame on you. A brain of an ant. This is why we should stop listening to liars. We are fighting the lies of Muhammad, but we're fighting liars inside our churches too. 
Any priest, he said to you, the Catholic or Christians, he is demonic. Any priest, he said to you, the Protestant or the Christian, he is satanic. Any priest, he says to you that the Orthodox are bad, they are going to go to hell, he is a piece of garbage. It's not you, it's not me who decide who go to heaven, who go to hell. The Lord, he says, whoever believe in me and I will live. And all of those, they believe in him. So they will live. And if you think you are better than other person, you are stupid. Very silly people. Let us go back to our topic. You see why the Muslims here don't like me too? Because I don't divide the Christians and that will make the devil Muhammad, Satan, happy. Ask yourself the first silly question if you, if you have a silly brain. Who is going to be happy to see Christians fighting? All of us, we are Christian. We have one name. We don't have Catholic. We don't have Protestant. We don't have Orthodox. All those are your fabricated names. Our names is only Christians. And if there's any name for you better than the name of Jesus, then you are stupid. Why do you want to call yourself a Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox? You don't like the name of Christ no more? You don't be fit to your majesty? Because the demon, Satan, divide you. And now you follow Satan. You think you are better than other churches. Oh, we will go to heaven. They will not. A bunch of stupid idiots. Satanic people. So now we go and see what Muhammad said about his trip to heaven. Anyone can find us uh, the similar story. I want to give you a task. I want to see who of you really is, a, is here serious and he is looking for studying and researching and learning. Knowledge is power, my friend. One day you will sit with your friends and you will share this, this information and they will be amazed that you are really a person who knows. So who is going to help us now and go to the vision of Peter, which is a fake book, fake vision never happened. Peter, he never said that. And find me the similar things we will see. Uh, let us see, let me see uh, first what hadith I will look for. Give me a second. All right, let us see here. All right. Let us start with this one. But I don't think I can find it in the English translation website. So we will go first with Arabic and use Google Translation. I'm trying to open this website. It's not... Okay, let's use this one. I have many websites in front of me right away you can find them but I'm trying to find you something like trustworthy for Muslims so they will not say we are making things up
And the Muslim himself, they will say to you, oh, this is hadith, is, is fake, is, li is a lie. Yeah, well, absolutely. Let us see. Let us use this. We're trying to find a website. One website does not have garbage of commercial. What a stupid. All right. It is a must, what we can see. I will give you this link and you can use Google translation and then you can go to the book we mentioned to you about Peter the false vision of Peter you will see it says exactly word by word Muhammad he saw women let me pause the link for you you can open it in your uh, Anyone found the book for me about Peter? Did you found it? So Muhammad, he went up to heaven. Uh, before he went there, here you see, the, uh, before he entered to heaven, look what happened. It says here that Fatima, she entered to Muhammad, her father, her, her stepfather, by the way. The Muslim, they say he is her real father, but I believe strongly, Fatima, Muhammad don't have kids, he can't have kids. I entered upon the messenger of Allah and grant him peace. Allah pray on him. I found him crying in like in, in an insane way. I said, my father, I sacrifice myself for you. And my mother, I sacrifice her too. Look at this, I mean, stupid language. I sacrifice my mother for you. What does that mean? What made you cry? He said, uh, when I went to heaven, the night I went to heaven, I saw women from my nations in severe torment, so I denied their condition. And when I saw the severity of their torment, I saw a woman hanging by her hair. The brain of her head is boiling. I saw women, she was struck, stuck her tongue while the boil was pouring into her throat. I saw women hanging from her breast I saw women eating the flesh of her body with while fire is burning her burning her. I saw a woman which her legs tied to her hands. Uh, 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 snakes and scorpion were being attacked. I saw deaf, blind, mute women in the coffin of fire at the, uh, and with the brain coming out. I saw you can read the whole thing. Everything you see here is coming from that false book about Peter. <laughs> what do you think? If you go, one of you, he posted the website, I will use it. I just opened it, took me two seconds. Read with me carefully and laugh. You can read it from the top. Read, 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 read. Read, read, read. And by the way, this is just one hadith. I will show you the rest. The rest, all the rest of the hadith is coming from here. All the hadith about Muhammad going up to heaven is coming from here. According to this false book, which is supposedly belonged to Peter, Peter, he went to heaven and he went to hell. So now this is his visit in hell. 
He went there. God sent him there to see what will happen to the bad people. I will show you more hadith and you will see how the Muhammadan and Muhammad is copying almost word by word from a very fake book promoted for four centuries before Muhammad. This is a book exists from the second century after Jesus. And then it's announced by the Christians, warned by the church that this is a fake, unaccepted book. It became very popular between many and many they think they, they, they thought of it it's, uh, it's saying true stories but none of this is true Peter did not go to anywhere he did not go to heaven visit hell he did not see those people no such a thing but if you look here and you study between what Muhammad is saying and what is in the book and let me post the link. Our brother here, he posted. Who, who is the who is the first one who posted the link? Uh, who is the first person who posted the link? Is my voice coming? Thank you for whoever the one who posted the link. Open it. Open it, please. And just compare. And you will see how Muhammad is copying exactly the same. Women who sleep around, women who gossip, women who do, women who does, men who do, women walking in a dirty mud in the river, women, you know, all, everything you see here is coming from that book. If you have an issue with Rumble, I advise you to change your browser or use the app. Mostly it's about the browser. I think Google is fighting Rumble. I have no doubt about it, you know. Uh, so a woman, he saw a woman hanged from her hair, a woman she is hanged from her mouth, a woman from her uh, tongue. I mean, it is amazing, astonishing, how much the thief Muhammad he is claiming it is belong to him and he think he can fool us we can find more hadith Let us see another hadith. Uh, I, I will give you this website here, the one about Muhammad uh, and those hadith. And by the way, the Muslim will say to you, this hadith is fake, okay? But as usual, this is what we are saying. Islam is fake. Nothing new. Now we go and try something else. We cannot find it in the English website, so we have to go and find it in a different place. All right, to the C. <laughs> I 
me. I have too many browser open in front of me to the point I'm confused which one I'm going to open. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. I need two screens, you know, to, to, to be able to see really where to go. Too many screens. Too many screens. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Uh, let us choose this one. You will notice that everything you hear here is something stalling. By the way, who is the one who took Peter to heaven? According to the fake book. Anyone knows? I'm trying to close the, some browsers. You know, you see, I don't prepare really to go, uh, like I, I don't prepare things, I, I just search. Uh, but let us see. Okay, let us see here. Reels. If we translate this page here. You will find the name Gabriel appear that he is the one who accompany Muhammad. The first question you ask yourself, how come the story is not appearing in the uh, in the Quran? Why in the Quran doesn't say anything about Jibreel, any of those details? I mean, why is it like a secret? Is it shouldn't be there? Isn't it uh, you know? Shouldn't shouldn't uh, the Quran contain such an such a story, astonishing story about a person going to heaven, seeing all what I mean? What's even more important than to tell us what is in heaven? You want to tell me what is in Mecca? You want to tell me what is in Jerusalem? Well, those things we can go there and we can check. But a person he went to heaven, he's a unique person. He saw what nobody saw. So you will notice always, Muhammad is taking uh, 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 stories from other people, including names, Gabriel, Israel, Mikhail, Abraham. And he himself did not know what they mean. And now we understand why the Christians at that time not only they were sure that Muhammad, like not maybe, they are 100% sure that Muhammad is a fraud because those stories which Muhammad is stealing is a story is taken from other nations. That's why in the Quran, and here in this story is the Christians. In fact, you will see some even talk, you know, is taken from a story about Moses if you go to the book in the Talmud, the Babylon Talmud, you will find that Moses himself, he went to heaven. Anyone heard of that before?
Anyone heard about that in Talmud? Moses, he went up to heaven. Search it in Google right now. And you will see, too, how much similarity between what Muhammad he say, not only with, with the story of Peter, but with the stories of Moses, which is fake story. Moses did not go to heaven, neither Peter. He did not visit hell. He did not visit heaven. All those things is, is false. So here you will see in chapter 6, verse number 25, chapter 8, verse number 31, chapter 16, 24, chapter 23, 83, chapter 25, 5, 27, 68, 46, 17, 68, 15, 83, 13. All of them saying what? This is nothing but fairy tales, legions of the old. And he hear it in the morning and afternoon. We heard those stories before. It wasn't new. Those people around Muhammad, they were not surprised. You know this, Rene? They were not surprised. If you go right now, let me search. Nobody heard of Musa's going to heaven before? No, no, not in the Bible, not in the Bible. I just said Talmud, Talmud. You guys are not listening. Talmud is not, is not the Bible. Talmud is an Antichrist book, is a fake book. Talmud is a book written by rabbis, and many of them, nobody knows even who they are. So, uh, Musa's, if I search right now, most has a trip to heaven. Let us search in Google. Uh... You can search, you know, by your own and find some reference and read and love about the journey of Moses to heaven and how he descended from heaven and what he saw in his way from heaven. In either way, uh, and you will find actually that the one is in charge of this, uh, the one was in charge of this uh, journey, it was who? Do you see the name? Who is the one in charge of this journey? Who is the, who is the guide, the tourist guide? It says here, and when our master Moses, on him peace was with Gabriel, the angel came and said to him, why did you bring me bring this one seeing that this time you are not yet to come so this is this is the story you can open and link you can, i can open the link and send it to you this is jibril the one who appeared in the story of muhammad everywhere jibril he came and he took muhammad so muhammad he took stories from the book of peter which is a fake book muhammad he took stories from the book of moses which is a fake book the talmud a book about Moses' journey. And Muhammad lies is all over the place. And the story about Al-Isra, this is the chapter of Bani Israel. The whole chapter is speaking about the children of Israel. So either the stories of Muhammad going to heaven is fabricated later after Muhammad, because as we know, the hadith is, is written long time after Muhammad. Or it's true, Muhammad, he said that, according to Muslim, many of those hadith, most of them, they are authentic. And if they are authentic, then the Muhammad, he is the liar. Let me open this link for you, and I will give it to you too. Please don't hesitate to save reference. Are we, are we saving reference or nobody care? Later you will text me, 
in Patreon and you will say, can you give me the reference? I will not. Do you know how many people they send me every day? And I find it very annoying. People don't think like I am a human. I have, you know, I, everybody email me, I have to answer him. And if you don't answer them, they get upset. So here, and uh, let me teach you how to find reference. Like, let us say you are watching the video. How I can find this? Very easy. You know, go to Google, type, type a unique verse. Let us say, a, 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 like sentence, Moses a trip through hell. Type that in Google. Or type a line like this. Jibreel come and he said to him, Have you seen hell, Moses? He said to him, Yes. And then he said to him, come with me, let me show you paradise. So here in the in the page before, and you will notice here, there is something very weird, you know. I find in this study here is made, uh, it, in the connection with the Arabic. So this story already was in Arabic. So the one they are trying to study the story, they are saying that the, the, the Talmud text is, is not really, like not, not clear you know it's an the, the the book they have is old but the one in arabic text arabic font was way more clear uh, and that explain what muhammad and where muhammad is getting his information from so this is very well known stories between even the arab i advise you like those links we we, we showed you today to put them all in one folder, you know, like make one folder instead of they are scattered here and there, you know, like make a folder. This is the topic about Muhammad going to heaven. Link number one, make a note, you know, you can make even a Word document, Microsoft Word Office, you know, and pause the link, make a note next to it. So when you open it, especially if the link is in Arabic, you know, because you will be confused what this link is about. So make a note, put them all in one folder, Organize it so later when you need some reference, uh, you can find it so easy. Yeah, we need to uh, to a database we can save reference. I hope you guys can do that. I mean, the poor me, I don't know what to do. I have, I have actually, you know, I don't know. I have no life, you know. Uh, a woman, her son, you know, imagine, imagine a woman, her daughter, sorry, not her son. She was thinking to marry a Muslim. I spoke to her daughter. She gave me a lot of headache. Very stubborn woman. She don't care for God, religion. She just want to have this boy. Finally, the girl, she agreed. I convinced her that he is a liar, and I showed her why and how he lied to her. And she was able to get him busted, this Abdul. I, the mother, I was saying to her, okay, now, you know, I, I do not need to talk to your daughter no more. She said to me, can she still call you? I said, no, because simply you guys call me because of this issue. So I have more things to do. She said to me, don't you think it's time for UCP to find a job? I just saved her daughter from marrying Abdul. And she told me, isn't it time for you to find a job? I said, what? What's your business? Like, did I ask you for, uh, did, did you pay me anything? Like, what, what are you talking about? She said, no, like, you know, I feel sorry for you. Too much headache and, you know, people, you know, you know, well, I just saved her daughter from marrying Abdul. And she insulted me, saying to me, isn't it time for you to find a job? So I struggle with people. I struggle with their stupidity. I don't know if she's listening now or not. I don't care. People, they say stupid things to me. They insult me. Uh... They come here, Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox, and you have to, to teach everybody how to behave. 
because you know you are surrounded by a bunch of kids sometime uh, I know what to do with people so if you want to do a database for the information we share with you just don't depend on me you know it's enough what I'm doing it's too much so here we share together how Moses he went to heaven and who is the one who took him to heaven Gabriel, do that ring a bell for you? Do you see how all those stories are, are matching together to give, us, to give us a map of the Muhammad, the fake man? Any Muslims? Everything we see in the front of us is a clear evidence. Hello? Yeah, uh, hello. Do you hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. You're a Muslim? Yeah, um, I'm, uh, I called you like two days ago. All right. Are you listening um, to me a ramble today or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think about what we are sharing? Um, about uh, Moses went to hell. Moses went to heaven and went to hell. And this is what you happen to your prophet. He says people who, uh, you know, he, he, he look at the right, he see people in hell. He look at the left, he see people, uh, sorry, he look at the right, he see people in heaven. He look at the left, he see people in, uh, in hell. So, uh, here we go. All the stories our stories in, exist long before Muhammad and this is Gabriel taking Moses to heaven and uh, showing him paradise and hell and you know and the same questions you know and you see questions here like uh, it says when our Moses uh, master Moses uh, on him peace enter paradise he saw a certain angel sitting under the tree of life did your prophet mention in the hate the tree of life um, yeah, I think so. Okay, see. So. <laughs> so, I mean, so everything in front of us is almost a copy paste. Yeah, I, I see. But, and uh, um, can we say can we say that uh, uh, the Jews is copying from Muhammad? No, because no. those this is a book is written long before Muhammad, right? Yeah, yeah. This is first. Yeah. Um, do you remember uh, me? I called you like two days ago. Yeah, you told me you have to go, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and I asked you, I, I said you, you, you call me tomorrow, but uh, yeah, okay, go ahead. Um, so, uh, I watched your videos for, for a little bit, maybe like four months now, but, um, and I see some stuff like they might, they may, it doesn't really make sense. But like this, for example, could it be like he's just saying it's the same because it's it's like true, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. it it's um it's like he's just continuing the same the same message. He's copying. He's copying stories of other other people, right? I mean, it could be like. It happened to both, both of them. Hmm. And this is this is the Bible, or no? This is the Talmud. Talmud is not a, even a, a scripture book. This is a is this is a book of rabbis. This is why he says after this, Moses, our master. You see, they keep saying our Moses, our master. This is a rabbi speaking about Moses. Muhammad, he lived between the Jews, correct? Yeah. And obviously, he heard tons of his stories. Uh, uh, the Jews, they, they teach the, the, the Torah and the Talmud. So Talmud is, uh, is where all the stories, uh, and many of them, they are funny and stupid. And Muhammad, he got all those stories. And now, he made those stories about him. Isn't um, that the, the Jews were like waiting for a prophet? 
from Mecca or some or Medina. Like well, why? Medina. Why the Jews? Okay, you know, I will go with you. I mean, do you have do you, no, no. Let, let me show you from the Quran. I will answer you from the Quran because if I show you from the Bible, you might say, oh, "Okay, maybe the Bible is it's not my book anyway." Why do you want to listen to it? But if I show you from the Quran, what you will say? Okay. Uh, in the Quran, you have your Quran with you, or you are just looking at my screen? Yeah, I'm looking at your screen. All right. In the Quran, it says in chapter 29, verse number 27. The chapter of the spider which is very weird you know even by the way the chapter of the spider is a fake story about you know to muhammad we cannot even find it you know anywhere but it's uh, uh the muslim they say when he ran away from the people of Quraysh, spider they put a tent this is a story you know uh, uh, about i think it's about about david if i if my memory is not uh, uh like uh, misleading me uh, and Muhammad, he took it and he made it about himself. I made a, I made a video about it before, but read with me here. It says, speaking about Abraham, and it says, uh, supposedly God, he spoke to Abraham, and it says, and we bestowed on him Isaac and Jacob, who Abraham, correct? Those are children of Abraham, right? Yeah. Okay, but look what it says here, and we established the prophethood and the scriptures from among his seeds who is the seed is mentioned in the verse isaac and jacob it, oh. yeah so the seed of a prophethood will be from who from abraham children specifically isaac and jacob what muhammad have to do with any of them the Muslims they say that Muhammad is from Ishmael, which is absolutely false, because Ishmael is not an Arab and he is not born of the Arab. How he can, and the Arab is exist before 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 Ishmael. So how he can be the father of the Arab? Is Ishmael the first Arab man? No. So how he can be the father of the tribe of Muhammad and he's an Arab? That is impossible. Ishmael, his mother is an Egyptian. Abraham is from Iraq. He's an Aramaic. He had nothing to do with the Arab. He doesn't speak even Arabic. Neither Ishmael, neither Isaac, neither none of them. And then the Muslim they hijack Ishmael and he made them, they made Muhammad from Ishmael. But as you see, when God he gave gift to Abraham, who was the gift? Are you are you talking about the, the sheep? No, no, no. No. You know, Abraham was an old man, right? Yeah. And his wife was an old woman, correct? Mm -hmm. But she cannot have children. So when God, he gave Abraham a gift, who was the gift? Is it Ishmael? Or it was Isaac? Yeah, Isaac and Jacob. Isaac and Jacob. So why? Because the other woman, she is young. Anyway, there is no, no need for a gift. But the wife of Abraham, who has married him for a long time, this is the one she cannot have kids. So, the story about even about the sacrifice, uh, why God he wanted that to be about Isaac, because this is the gift of God. God gave him that gift. Mm. This is just not, not normal. It was a miracle. Even the Quran confirmed that. Yeah. Here the story. I mean, even this story is a story from the from the Old Testament. But you will notice here. <clears throat> uh, according to Muhammad, even the children of Adam from the beginning of the time they have to give sacrifice. And the sacrifice when it's given. Allah have to send a fire from heaven to consume it. Correct? Like we find that in chapter 5. Yeah. Verse number 27. And you see, in fact, that this verse came in right away after speaking about what? About Moses. Moses cannot enter the land for 40 years. 
Uh, and here Muhammad he see the hypocrisy and uh, so the stupidity. Why? Because he think that Moses he entered the Holy Land. But in fact, he did not. Because Moses died before he can enter that land. So Muhammad obviously is limited in his knowledge. And then here it says, and recite to them, which does not, there's no connection between this one and this one. I don't see any connection. When I mentioned to you uh, in the the verse about uh, uh, Isra, do you speak Arabic? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. So uh, Isra, the Muslim, they translate it as he uh, carrying him to, to the heaven, correct? Yeah, no. Yeah, this is what they say. If you go into the, to the chapter speaking about Al Isra al Miraj, the chapter uh, of Al Isra, uh, you will find. Miraj is only in Hadith. Yeah, I know, I know, but the chapter of uh, taking him up to heaven, the Miraj, you are right, it's in the Hadith. But the Isra, Asra, you know, what, the, what, what Asra mean? It's just like. Then huh? he's talking about when he took him to the Al-Aqsa, or? Yeah, yeah, uh, no, this is like in his journey, when he went to heaven, uh, uh, it mentioned the word Aqsa. Okay. But what the word Isra mean? Um, well, I yet to come Asra. Uh, I'm not sure, but I can only, I don't know this kind of. Area. Okay, if you go in the Quran, uh, in chapter 44, verse number 23, can you read for me what the word in Arabic it says? For us, what, which one? Yeah, chapter 44, verse number th uh, 23. I'm glad that you know right. Arabic. 44, 33. Mm -hmm. You know, chapter 44, chapter 44, verse number 23. Oh, 23. Uh-huh. Um, for us, very badly, Layla, in this one? Yeah. Uh -huh. For us, very badly, Layla, in the Qum, Mutabaroon. Mm-hmm. So do you see what the word uh, uh, for is the same for Asra? It's just about location of the word. Tashkir change, right? You know what Tashkir, right? The, the grammar. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah, what yeah. what the translation is? Take away. Do you see it? Yeah. This is the Isra. Take away my slave by night. Do you see it? Yeah. Leave by night. Yeah. Even it says night. So now, if we compare it to the other verse here. Do you see how we can, if we if we like if we study carefully, yeah, we can unleash secrets and get this Quran busted. So in chapter seventeen, verse number one, it says, "The one who take away his servant at night." Yeah. In the other verse, it says the same. This is about what about the Jews. Asra using even exactly the same word. Yeah. So he took away, not from the second mosque. The, the word mosque is not, you know, this is not a masjid. Masjid is a place of worship. Mosque mm -hmm. is an English word. And yeah. that is where, that is where Moses was meeting with God. And here the story in the front of us. In the chapter of Ad Dukhan, we have the stories about Moses. Here we go. It's in the front of you. About how he went to run away from the Pharaoh. And then how God, he commanded Moses, and then he took him and his people at night. Do you see it? Yeah, I see. Compared to the other one, it's exactly saying the same. He took mm -hmm. his servant at night there's no muhammad this is false translation you know arabic right it doesn't say muhammad it doesn't say kaaba it doesn't say uh, mecca correct 
Yeah. All of those things, the Muslim, they add in their translation is a fabrication. So what do you think now? How this is, can be a book from God? How the Muslims, how, how someone like me, he's a Christian, you know, he is discovering this and understanding this and the Muhammadan all those years they don't. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's your name, but you don't need to tell me. It's okay. Uh, I don't know what to call you. What I will call you. Oh, my name's Uthman. Uthman. Okay, Uthman. So, as you see, the whole Quran is just a collection of fabricated stories. And I don't know how old are you, but I'm assuming that you are, you, you educate yourself, you read books, you are listening to me for four months. Yeah. And this one is one of many disasters we showed to people, including you. So what do you think now about this? Are you going to stay as a Muslim? I mean, um... I'm only 15, you know, I can't. When I was I 15, can't. when I was 15, you know, uh, in the Middle East, I don't know if you are from the Middle East too, uh, we have a tradition that children don't sit with the adult, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I used to sit with the adult because my parents, they invite me. For the adult, they ask for me to come because they like what I say. They find it very, very strange. So it doesn't matter what's your age, my friend. Well, at the age of 15, I was debating... Uh, you know, people, they are 50 years old at the age of 15. So 15 is an, is an age of a man, not the age of a kid. And you are a man now. What do you want to do? You want to stay following such a silly, stupid religion? Yeah, but, you know, my family, they, I, I, I can't, like, they're not going to accept. If my family are going to go to hell, I go with them? I mean, if I'm older... Like I could, I yeah, could it's go. up to you. I'm not asking you to do anything. It's up to you. You see, if you say I'm older, I'm younger, but I can tell it from your heart, you don't believe in Islam no more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, for me, I invite you to listen to me more. I'm happy that you left Islam. And uh, if you have a questions about accepting Christianity, accepting the Messiah as your savior, I will be happy to help you anytime. Yeah, but I mean, uh, I like I have to pray with them like every day. You know what am I? I don't know what to do. I mean, what I don't know what to tell you. But uh, can they force you? Don't you live in the West? Nobody can force anybody. You can say I don't want to pray. What do I do? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you want to you know you want to waste your time. You know, you wake up early in the morning to pray to false god. I mean, what kind of god? You know, who don't accept you? Like, what does why does God? Okay, I want to I wanna show you something. At what time you wake up in the morning to pray? Um, like 6, 5, like early. Mm. All right. Yeah, it depends where the sun rise, right? Yeah, yeah. When Allah, he come down every night to receive the prayer? Do you know? At night. At night. So why you are waking up in the morning if he is not there anyway? I mean, yeah. it, I mean, it, it, like, it, it's it's a, it's like I give you a date. I say to you, you have to pray in a certain time. But I come only at night when nobody is praying. I come only when everybody is asleep. And he say, who is praying to me? What is that? So according to Muhammad, and this is Sahih Hadith, as you see, I have it in the screen. Uh, he says, Every day, every night. Allah, He come down in the third part uh, to the uh, to the lowest heaven, in the third part of the night, and He says, "Who is praying to me? Who is asking me? So I may forgive him." So why you are waking up in the morning? And why you are praying? I mean, this is the only time. And why Allah is coming down? Can't Allah hear you when He is up in heaven? Why He have to come down to the lowest heaven? Yeah. And and yeah. you know, and and this hadith, by the way, is proving to us that Muhammad is a fraud again. Because uh, I don't know where you live, but every one of those who they are listening, he live in different continent, and we have many. Like now, it is daytime in USA, 
for somebody it's now the morning is coming correct so yeah. Allah he come down every third part of the night which when, when is that how many third of the part that Allah in this case is like a yo-yo because every you know a few hundred miles away there will be a third part of the night so Allah go up go down go up go down go up down go all day long but no but Muhammad because he think that the earth all of it have one time yeah hmm. if I am you I understand you are 15 years old you know I, I encourage you to listen to me more study take notes learn more and if you have a questions about the Bible you can call me anytime and I will be happy to help you but if you feel in your heart that you can accept the Messiah I advise you to accept him right away because you know we never know we might go to sleep we don't wake up tomorrow yeah. right and then then the the soul uh, you know like You've been given your time and you've been warned and it doesn't matter if you are 15 or not the only one have uh, like uh, excuse uh, not to go to hell is the one who is a child you know you don't know yeah. but you are not you know yeah if we uh, if we marry you now to a, a female you will have a baby <laughs> right yeah. so already you are growing and you are a man you have you know so and you have a voice of a man. When you spoke to me, I didn't know that if you are, you know, you are 15. If you don't tell me, I would think maybe you are maybe 25, something like that. So uh, I advise you not to wait for long. And if you feel from your heart that the Messiah is the one who can save you, I invite you right now to accept the Messiah as your Lord and your Savior. Okay. All right. Um, I'll, I'll listen to you more and... I'll call you. All right, my friend. Thank you very much. And you feel free to invite your friends to call me too, anyone. If there is any shake, you think he can debate me, any shake, he can prove me wrong, tell him, hey, this guy, I want to see how you can respond to him. He's making a lot of people leaving Islam. You know? Answer yeah. him, refute him, get him busted. Otherwise, a lot of Muslims leaving Islam. All right. All right, my friend. I'm happy right. for you that you decide to leave Islam now. And I will be happy more. And the Lord himself will be happy for you to receive you and to be his child because we as a Christian we believe that God is our father and we don't want God who is a God of a slavery you know this is why our God is unique when we speak to him we say our father we pray to him uh, even though he's our creator even though he can destroy us even though he can burn us he can he can punish us yet he is very loving and he is very giving and he don't want us to be to feel like slaves and he gave us the honor to call him father I can call him God but which one is better father because now I feel I'm so close to the king of kings to the one who created the universe I feel that I am really a unique person too because he gave me a title which I don't deserve I can say God is my father he's not my father real no but he gave me the opportunity when I speak to him not to go and speak to him like a servant and uh, you know like uh, a slave no no you, you speak to him and he love you and he hug you and he take you and he forgive you and that's why you know in Christ we live without him we yeah. die thank you my friend and I will be happy to hear from you soon all right all right bye okay take care well at least he decided to leave Islam which is good now did we take notes guys did you see the connection now between the two verses about the, to prove more this is one more proof that this is about Moses did you take reference anyone remember which verse we talk about chapter 44 verse number 23 The word Asra here is translated as take, aw take away. Here is translated as carried. Why? Took his votary. Now he, is he says took. Okay, took is fine. 
So now we knew that even the same word in Arabic used about Musa's journey from Egypt toward the Holy Land. Toward the Holy Land. Asra, here. For Asra here. Do we have any Muhammadan there to call me? Anyone? The Muslims, you know, they make videos, they, they go challenge Christians who do not even know how a verse in their book. Here, they have a flat tire. And all of this, why? All of this because we have knowledge. See, when the Bible says, my people without, because of their lack of knowledge, they've been destroyed because of their ignorance, this is a statement is always true. When we have knowledge, we can defeat the devil and all his lies. When we have none, anyone can fool us. And that's why I say, if a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how foolish are you? Or how fool are you? Let me see if in Skype I have any. I see only Christians texting me, and I don't know why they text me, especially if there is nothing important, you know. Uh, see, when people, they send me texts and they are Christians, they, 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 I look at it because I think it's a Muslim, maybe. And then it turned to be somebody saying to me, hello, CP, I love, I love to watch you. Okay, like, can't you say that in the, in the chat? Okay. Brother, if you are a really Christian prince, contact me. I don't know, I'm really a Christian prince or not. <laughs> all right. I see, I click at all the messages. None of them is a Muslim message. Ah, we are out of customers. <laughs> so did we learn something good for today? By the way, I can go farther more in a, with a lot more information about this. But this will be like, you know, if we want to do a PhD study in it. Like, I can come with 40, 50 pages study only about those verses. Because we will find that those things, even, even, anyone heard of someone called, uh, let me see if I, a, a Cartier, Cartier, or Cartier inscriptions? Anyone heard of it? Anyone heard? It goes back like to the third uh, 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 century CE. No, search the name. Let me search it, hold on. Should I stop or continue? Because this is, will be maybe heavy duty information on your head. I don't want to cause you a headache. Shall we stop? Before we search? No, no, not Ibn. What Ibn? <laughs> okay, let me let me search for it. Hold it, give me a second. <laughs> All right. Oh boy. 
And let's do this. If you go and search for the person, his name, let me, I found here. Cartier, Journey, Heavenly Journey. And then you will find more information about the heaven of Muhammad in that story. So look what this Edith Muhammad he did. He took from the Jews, from the Christians, from the Zoradisht. He took from everybody, the virgin, the whore, the stairs, the... <laughs> Everything he has is, is a scam. I mean, not every, not a single one of him, of, of, of his statement, is original. The Quran and the Hadith is nothing but a collection of Mickey Mouse cartoon. Like somebody watched cartoon, let us say, when he was a kid. When I was a kid, you know, we, we don't, like not now, you have like 24 hours, uh, anytime you open TV and there's a cartoon with amazing colors and even some of them like a, a high quality uh, graphic. We have 15 minutes, Mickey Mouse. Co -co 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 -co, you know, that's it, 15 minutes and our time is up. I can write a book about what I saw in Mickey Mouse now. Because when you are a kid, you know, your memory, this is why the Muslim, they teach you know, their children the Quran when they are young. You cannot find somebody who learned the Quran and he memorized the Quran when he's old. You cannot. When you are young, you, you memorize anything. You memorize a commercial, you memorize anything because your brain is empty. So, Muhammad, he grew in an atmosphere where is, there is millions of stories in those between those people. Those those people they said at night there's nothing to do. Those Arab they have nothing to do. I mean at that time all not only the Arab what people do at night, what they do exactly, but they don't have this uh, like uh, advanced musical instrument. They, they know they are Bedouin. Their life is simple and most of them they are poor. So the entertainment is very limited, and the entertainment was based on stories and languages. So either they do poetry, like they said at night, I say poetry against you, like for fun, and you make a poetry against me for fun too, or even sometime for a fight, uh, or uh, stories, like Sin Sinbad, Thousand Night and Night, but those are, by the way, even those are coming not from the Arab. All those stories are not coming from the Arab. Most of them, they are coming either from Persia or from India. That's why the names they don't they are not Arabic names. Sindbad from the from the land of the Sind. This is obviously it's not an Arab land. Uh, Alibaba, you know, we don't have something in the Arabic language such a thing, Alibaba. So all the Shahrayar, like the name Shahrayar, obviously it's a it's a Persian name. So when you uh, uh, read the story of one thousand night and night. You know, right away you will know that the king is a Persian because all the names are Persians. All the, the uh, let us say, uh, uh, the culture of the Middle East is mixed heavily with every nation around them because they've been occupied by everybody. The Persian, they came all the way and even they occupied Jerusalem. The Persian, actually, they have even the, the Babylon. You see, the Sabian, the Sabian, they believe uh, that the Pharaoh, he's a Sabian. So the Sabian, they were like the most popular religion, way more than Christianity at that time. especially in far Iraq and other area or in the desert of Saudi Arabia. That's why even Muhammad, he, you know, he praised the Sabian. Even, even the Arab, they called Muhammad Sabi.
Al Muhammad he took Ramadan from them. Here we go. Hear the story of the Muslims. They were looking for water and then they saw uh, a woman. And they asked her where we can, they, they found her carrying water in her camel. So they said to her, where do you get this water from? She said, who are you? They said, we are the men, of, the followers of a prophet Muhammad. She said to them, she said to them, is that the Sabi? Is that the one who, she called him Sabi. They said, yes, he is. They did not say no. They did not deny that he is a star worshiper. Here you will see, when they were going, uh, they want to do a perform evolution. So they were looking for water. And then they found there is no water, you know. And, uh, you know, and some of them, they, they were masturbating, you know. So they are Junub. They have, you know, they are playing with their hands. So they want to now uh, do evolution. Muhammad, he said, then do tayammum, which is very funny. Like you hold the dust with your hand and you wash your hands with the dust. And that supposedly will make you clean. And then the prophet proceed and the people, etc. Here it says, uh, they saw a woman, read with me carefully. We met a woman who was sitting in her camel bet uh, between two bags of water. They asked, they used to make bags for water from leather, you know. Uh, the leather would contain the water and they put very strong stitches. Uh, they would leak a little bit of water, you know, for sure. But they are very good to carry water from place to place. So they saw this woman and she is carrying water with her. And they said to her, where we can find water? She replied, I was there. Uh... This hour yesterday, so she is walking from far distance, and my people are behind me. They requested her to accompany them. She asked, where? They said to Allah Messenger, she said, do you mean the man who is called Sabi? Do you see it? The Muslim between two brackets, they say new religion. This is false. Sabi is Sabi. Sabi is the name of religion. We find the same word in the Quran. They add this just to cover it up. They say new religion. What new religion? What happened, there was many of the Arab, they convert to the new religion, which was odd, which is the Sabia. Sabia is the name of the religion. It is a new religion for them. It's a very ancient religion coming all the way from Iraq. So what they said, they said yes. They did not say no, he is not. Do you know this? When she said the Sabi, they did not say, no, 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 he is a Muslim. And if the Muslim, they say this is a new religion, well, is Islam a new religion? I thought uh, Abraham, he built the Kaaba. <laughs> I thought Ishmael was there. So if Abraham and Ishmael were there, how Islam is a new religion for those Arab? Are you with me? Do you see how easy to destroy this garbage cult? But it's easy only if you are a person who learn how to read, not only just reading letters, you know, there's a lot of idiots, they read, they, they knew how to read very well, even they have degrees. 
but you need to learn how to read things around you. You need to read what is between the lines. You need to read how to connect the dots. You need to le learn how to read and connect pages. The Quran is like, you know, somebody was ha like having ha have a diarrhea, but he was doing his poopoo in the front of a very powerful fan. This is why you will find the verse in the Quran. They have nothing to do with the location. Scattered everywhere. Like if I go right now in the Quran and I say, okay, I'm going to search and find out where we can find uh, God the creation. You, you will not find it in a verse and chapter. You will find it all over the Quran. In the Bible, you go to the book of Genesis. That's it. In the Quran, where we can find it. If I type the word khalaqa, all of this, look at this. Khalaqa means create. All those verses is about the creation, what Allah He created and how He created. It's all over the Quran. Okay. How in the world this is a book of God? If he cannot even organize his his, his thought, if he cannot organize his stories, if he cannot organize his lines. If you search for the word khalaqa in this website, but not necessarily is accurate number, it says here 80 result found. Khalaqa mean create. But you cannot find them in one place. Do we have any Muhammadan? He have the courage and the knowledge to call me and challenge me in what I said. He can get me busted. Anyone? If you are in you here, don't forget to subscribe. Many people, they come here, but they don't remember that, you know, they should join us. Uh, as you see, what we do here is a very, uh, you know, uh, very important. And if we go here and back in the, in the video, you will see how silly the Muhammadan one day explain about their prophet. Like Aisha, she said the prophet, he went to heaven by his soul, but his body was not missing. Even Aisha, she confirmed Muhammad that his body did not leave. All praise and glory be to Allah Azza wa Jal who has taken his servant from Mecca, the Masjid al-Haram, to Al-Masjid al-Aqsa in Jerusalem, in Al-Quds. This took place physically and spiritually, by body and by soul. And the Prophet went there and he led all the prophets and messengers of Allah in prayer. Look, look at this stupid religion. According to Muhammad, all the prophets, according to the Quran, all the prophets are dead. And Muhammad is going to be the first one to be resurrected in the day of judgment. So how he met them in heaven? Do you see how stupid this cult is? If Muhammad, the Quran says, وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهُ الرُّسُلُ Muhammad is nothing but a prophet, messenger. All messengers before him, they pass away. But, but the story of Jesus opposed that contradiction. Number two contradiction, how he went to heaven and he saw all the, 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 the prophets there. I thought Adam is dead. Abraham is dead. Moses is dead. Now he went there. He found everybody in heaven having tea. Where in Starbucks? Let us see. Someone is a smarter. He tried to advise us about that. Hold on. We missed listening to Zakir Naik. What Zakir Naik would say? Let us see here.
Hello, you're on the air. Assalamualaikum, brother. Wa alaikum assalam. Look at this scary color behind them. I mean, I mean, this color alone will make me have a headache. What is that? Oh boy, the Muslims they don't have. Uh, yeah, they just start having TV at that time. They start learning from the Western how to make a wall behind. Okay, go. So the guy is asking question: Is the phys is the journey of Muhammad is going is real? I would ask the doctor, it's a, this is a question outside of the topic, but I would ask the doctor if he wants to comment. Thank you. Sure, sure. The caller is saying in relation to the mirage, he wants to know if it's physical or spiritual. But that was the question that was the mirage, the ascension of the beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the night journey. Was it a physical or was it spiritual? And I'm aware that there are some scholars who do differ. But the Quran says in Surah Isra chapter number 17, verse number one, that the beloved Prophet Muhammad was taken from Masjid al Haram to Masjid al Aqsa, that the furthest mosque. And if you go to the. See? But nowhere there it says Muhammad, nowhere it says the, the, the Kaaba. No, all what they are saying in TV is absolutely is not there. Everything they are saying, you just heard, is not even in the Quran. If we go to the hadith of Aisha, let us see. Aisha, she said, and this is Aisha. She said that the body of Muhammad in the night, which Muslims they speak about the journey, he was just there. He did not leave the body. So she said he went up by his soul. I will give you this link and I will use Google Translation to show you. I will see if we can find it actually in uh, English. If not, then we could give it to you in Arabic. This is the book of Ibn Hisham. It says here, Hadith Aisha and Masrah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The story of Muhammad uh, uh, move Allah pray on him and salute him Ibn, the, uh, uh, the son of Isaac said from the, uh, the family of Abi Bakr that Aisha she said the wife of Muhammad she used to say his body never was missing but he was he went by his soul only page number 400 let us use Google Translation and I will shrink, uh, uh, I have to use uh, like a link shrinker uh, so you guys can, I can post it for you in the chat and if somebody can find the hate in English, you can post the link for us like if there is a page, have English let us see, link yeah, because always when there is uh, Arabic in the link uh, all those chat would not allow it it doesn't go through all right so this is the link here no this is Quran so what what Aisha she is saying Muhammad he never left his body his body was here next to us do you see it
So now we have tons of evidence that the story in the Quran was not even about Muhammad. The hadith later, either they are fabricated or Muhammad he made them, we do not know. Either way, all of those stories are a fabrication. Who of us did collect them all, those references in one folder? I hope at least a few of you. Because later you will ask me and I will not respond to you. Later you will ask me, you will say to me where I can find this. And this is why we have videos. You see, I'm not, you know, I'm not seeing me in camera because there's no point of seeing me. What you, what you get from seeing my face? This is not an entertainment show. You know, entertainment show, you, you, because you, have, you have to see a face of somebody talking to you. Otherwise, that would be a radio, right? But here, you do not need to see me because what you need to see is what you are learning. And this is the important thing. You can watch all those TV, you know, like you, uh, uh, a trucker Carson, big fat liar, hypocrite. Actually, tomorrow I will, I will have a, I will make a video about this idiot. I will, I want to show you how people they mislead. Doesn't matter if they call themselves Democrat, they call themselves Republican. Garbage is garbage. Satanic people are satanic people. They are everywhere. Not only those who they call themselves Democrat, they are covered by lies. There's a lot of those who call themselves Republican. They feed in your blood. The same as Joe Biden. Uh, all right. I think we have enough for today, maybe. Let me see if we have any Muslim. Otherwise, uh, the only one who would call us Zach and Nag. Good and Prince. First of all, I'm going to expose you in your lying to them with Vietnam. Zach and Nag, lying to what? Who was lying to whom? Flying donkey horse. What are you talking about? What kind of a prophet this prophet is? Huh? Yeah, what? Where are you going? The religion of the Abdul. If you go to the Muslim website, look what the Muslim they say about the story of Al Isra. And look at the, they make art, you know. Yeah, the servant of Isra Ma'raj divided into two parts. What parts? The first part related to Prophet Muhammad's journey to Mecca, from Bakka to Jerusalem. This is the first, where? Where it says that? Okay, here it says that here, Christian Prince, it gets you to bust it. It's here. Okay, as far as the first part concerning the verse, chapter 17, verse number one. And look, even here, this says Bani Israel. <laughs> you see? <laughs> yeah, you might not notice, by the way, many, because they don't know why they are saying Isra and then say Bani Israel. Israel. Because simply, this is the name of the, this is the real name of the chapter. They change the name. Even imagine how corrupt this religion is. Even the names of their chapters is a fabricated. If it was called by Muhammad and by Allah, according to Muslims, chapter of Bani Israel, with children of Israel, why you change it? And why it's called the chapter of Bani Israel? Because this is about Moses and his people. Have nothing to do with Muhammad. This journey is not the journey of Muhammad. Have nothing to do with Muhammad. This is the journey of Moses all the way from the land of Egypt to the land, toward the Holy Land. And he could not enter the Holy Land because the Quran confirmed, chapter 5, verse number 26, that this land is forbidden for you. 26, 27, read it. Forbidden for you for the coming 40 years. And this is a story stolen from the Bible. And we showed you how in the book of Exodus, is speaking about how God, Exodus 19, how God told uh, Moses that there is a limit where nobody can get close. That is the forbidden holy land. For God, he descended there. The God, he spoke to Moses there. All those stories are just a theft. 
And we challenge any Muslim, if you have the courage and the knowledge, to call us anytime. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what we do and if you enjoy it. And I don't want to keep you here for long. Today is Sunday. I wish you a blessed Sunday. And don't forget to pray. Uh, you know, we do not need to go in the street and pray. We as a Christians, we do not need to go to the top of the roof. The, the, the Lord, he uh, warned us about such a thing, act of hypocrisy. But we pray that the Lord will keep us in good mental health and will provide us with knowledge. For without knowledge, we will be destroyed. And the Bible, he, you know, the Bible, the word of God encourage us to look for the truth and told us that the truth will set you free. And those Mohammedan, they are not the people of the truth. Actually, even the Quran, don't call on them people of the book. The Quran call us, us and only us, people of the book, because we have one they don't. We are the people of the book. They are not. They have nothing to do with the book. Muhammad is a thief of books. And we are here to expose him. And I hope today we have some good jewelries we gave you because knowledge is jewel. And it's a jewel, it shine more and more when you learn it, you study it, you share it, and you maybe you can do more your own search. Maybe you can tell us you, maybe you can teach me something. You see, don't just depend on somebody to tell you, like I study, I search, I learn, I was like you one day, I know nothing. So you can do, and you can do maybe better than me. So I pray that the Lord will provide us with young Christians who they will study and research, and they will be smart, intelligent teachers, men and women of God, who they are looking for truth and they can fight the devil. We can fight the devil only if we have weapon. And the weapon is so easy. Knowledge. And the best of knowledge is to know your God. So we study our book, we study our Bible, and then we start searching and studying the book of the enemy, the book of the devil, so we can refute him from his book. You see, if you are a lawyer, you don't go to the judge and you say, I'm going to defend this guy. You have to read what this guy he said and what the guy who is suing him or the opposite is saying. You don't read only one side. So you can be the one who can defend. And what Christians, they do sadly, a Muslim, he attacked them about the Bible. They do not know anything about Islam. So they try to defend without knowing what is written in the book of the devil which he is coming to you to make you feel that you are not following the true God, to deceive you. So how you can find deception? Knowledge. First, we need to know our book so they cannot fool us. Number two, let us see their book so we can get them busted. And the Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. Isn't it? From their fruits, you shall know them. And the fruit of Islam is so clear, and the fruit of Jesus is beyond someone like me to explain it to you. So we pray before we go today that all of you will learn, will share, will teach, and will not be selfish, taking information for yourself, share it with your kids, having better you know don't let your kids watch tv 24 hours that will make them doomed they go on the street they cannot even associate with their friends they, they will not even have a friends don't buy those expensive gifts you are a fool those 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 games they will not make them smarter they will not make them even they say to you a game playing game will make you like have a skills the skills of what moving your finger people used to read People today do not know 2x2 is what because they have to use their phone. People today cannot memorize their own phone number. Like, what is your phone number? Do you remember it? Oh, let me look. Why? Because now we depend on other things, machines, tools. 
we cannot accomplish anything by ourselves, which means we lost the ability to survive. And if you cannot survive, you are dead. Because always we depend on someone else. We cannot even feed ourselves. Because we learn, we go to Walmart to buy food. We don't know how to grow food. So if today, tomorrow we have war, people will eat each other. Don't let your skills die. You have to earn skills. So teach your children how to grow food, how to take care of vegetables, how to take care of trees, how to be human being, how to love, how to fight, how to stand for the right, how to stand against wrong. Not to sit and eat chips in the front of a game machine. That is the most stupid thing you can do. Time is priceless and you cannot buy it back. Not all the world money can buy one second is gone. So why you want to waste it? Grow your knowledge so you will be strong, you will be wise. And then if God be with me, who could be against me? God, truth, knowledge, you are a powerful person and you will defeat the devil and victory will be in your side. God is good. So is Jesus. And see you soon again. And this is your brother Christian Prince who has serving you humbly for today. See you. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we 